Uh, hello my lovelies, uh, welcome to Allotment of the Dead. So it's time to try and take some of these covers off. Um, I did make a start yesterday, so uh, I'll show you kind of where we are with it now. Um, got help from the lovely wife, she doesn't want to be on camera today, but we'll see how that goes. Um, I'll let you know everything that's going on um, in terms of uh, kind of where we are with this. It's There's more compost inside the polysorn than I thought there was which means that when I've actually pulled it all back um, away from the bottom bars, um, I've got some great big mounds of um, compost actually inside polytunnel. So um, let's show you where we are. Okay, you can see here, um, I've actually pulled back the compost from most of the inside now. Um, there's still a few bits and you can see where the, um, the plastic uh, Velcro ties from the the first um, tunnel were actually um, still connected to that bottom um, metal bar um, all the way around. Um, something you've got to do if you're going to change the cover, you need to basically clear that bottom bar if you can of everything that's covering it and try and release those Velcros. So uh, that's what I've tasked the wife with doing while I deal with the outside stuff. Um, so I say most of it's clear there. Right, it's absolutely chucking it down with rain at the minute. So I've taken the door off. You can see the door there lying on its side. The door was fantastic. Stayed there really, really well with the Velcro. Um, so going out to the outside of the plot, so I've strimmed it all nicely ready. I've got to get the uh, mattock on this today to try and release this side. Um, not concerned about breaking or knackering the, uh, um, the cover because the cover is, is basically going to go, it's going to go down the tip. Um, and again, I've released as much as I can. Well, not as much as I can. I've released um, a bit of this so far. Um, you can see the, the bottom apron or uh, skirt of the uh, polytunnel there that I've already pulled away. Um, so I just need to take the rest of that uh, saw that's lying on top of the skirt off it. And again, away from the, the edge there as well. Uh, I've got to move the bath. And I've got to basically uh, release the ends as well. So I want to try and move as much as I can of the um, of the bark chippings that are there. I don't want to waste those. Um, they can go back where they were. I have some new stuff to refresh, but um, I'd rather, if I can, try and uh, reutilize as much as I can. So the chard I've pulled away from the uh, inside. And also, uh, as I've gone, I've dug out the... Uh, the bind weed that always seems to find its way next to the polytunnel. Okay, so uh, with the help of the good lady wife, we've managed to, at least on three sides, uh, manage to release the uh, tarpaulin, tarpaulin, the uh, cover of the uh, polytunnel. So uh, it's actually um, away pretty much from everywhere now, except for one side. Okay, so you can see here that the uh, apron has been basically uncovered in quite a bit of the area here. So we can uh, pretty much pull the cover over the top now. Um, the only bit that hasn't really been uncovered as yet properly is the uh, the bit that's next to the path. So that's this kind of this uh, side here. So I'm going to have to get the mattock on that side. Pull back the uh, the grass that's growing kind of adjacent to the uh, polytunnel because I actually put this right next to where the polytunnel is. Uh, or, sorry, right next to where the uh, the path is. So uh, we are pretty much adjacent to that. So I don't want to do any, any damage to the path if I can help it. But um, the secretary will be after me if I do. Oh, the secretary. Oh yeah, I'm the secretary. I'll be after myself if I do any damage to the path, so uh, I'll probably need to make sure I don't do that. Right, let's get on for the next bit and see if we can actually get this cover off. See you in a minute. Okay, so uh, that's the, the heavy graft side of it done. Um, just uh, release the skirt from all of the areas now. 
So just this last final bit is just to release this uh, entire cover. The whole thing should come off in one go now, hopefully. Famous things said in jest, as they say, uh, or something like that. Anyway, um, I'll pass this on to my good lady wife and uh, I'll try and take this off myself all in one go. We'll see how that goes. Okay, need to figure out the best way to tackle this. With everything clear, hopefully I probably should be able to just pull it from that side and then hopefully it should all come off. Let's give that a go. Right, so we'll go from there. I think I'll probably need to release the other side as well. Right, so we'll come back around this side and then hopefully the whole lot should come. Uh. Nope, hang on. Might need to release something on the inside here. I think things get stuck on the inside. I'm going to go to the other end of this and pull it from the back. Uh, and hopefully it should all come over. I think where the issue is, is it's tight on the things here. Okay, and we've got one that's not released on the inside. Yeah. Okay. They are very, very heavy when they're covered in dirt. Okay. I'm going to try not to destroy the tree as it comes over. Oh, losing my hat. Uh, that's the trouble. Everywhere where there's a screw, there's a chance it can get caught on that as well. Okay. Yay, right. The cover is off. Um, right, we'll try and take this. Uh away from the area gives us a chance to work they're massive okay let's uh, sort this out So this is going to be a trip down to the tip. <sighs> and we'll put it out of the way for now. <sighs> right. Okay, the next step we need to do is all of the old hot tape, heat tape that uh, we put on is all kind of knackered now. So uh, we're going to need to 
take all the old stuff off and um, hopefully give this a rub down with something just so we can make that nice and even. Um, I do have some new stuff. Um, probably be best I don't actually try and do this while it's raining because it'll need to be dry. Um, best time to do it is the day that you put the new cover on. So, uh, be a job for next week, I think. But, um, yeah, it's easy to see how much this is desiccated now in probably about three years, which was when I put the last one on. Um, I'm probably going to need a bin, I think, before I start pulling this. I don't want these little bits of um, foam and that to actually get into the... Uh, the growing media which is all on the inside absolutely looks absolutely gorgeous this dark um, well-fed mixture of compost and uh, soil that was here before so uh, hopefully we'll get this ship shape and uh, we'll be able to get the new one up um, relatively soon so uh, I'll continue with the next bit um, when we get the cover out uh, and putting the hot tape, new hot tape on, and uh, we'll leave that here. Right, all the best, guys. Take care. Bye bye.